Meat Boy is definitely not back because today we are making pumpkin pie. And if you guys have missed my Thanksgiving recipes over the past several years, we've done two turkey recipes, dry brine, wet brine. Last year I did so many. I think I made mashed potatoes, stuffing, apple pie. We have gravy. Any Thanksgiving recipe you want, I pretty much have it already. This year we're doing a delicious pumpkin pie and what makes it so delicious is the quality of the ingredients. When you use organic eggs, pasture raised, grass fed milk, grass fed butter, organic flour, not only do you remove a lot of the negative chemicals that plague the modern food supply, it tastes delicious. Every ingredient has more depth of flavor. And when I do those burger reviews, you know, the reason most of them aren't that good is because of the lack of quality ingredients. So let me show you guys how to make the pie dough to start and then we will do the filling. Now I'm sure most of you have made pie crust before. So this is that basic recipe. You have your flour, your butter, a little more sugar because it's sweeter, some salt, and instead of water, I like to use milk. Normally people use ice water. So we're gonna put the ingredients in a food processor and blitz it up. 150 grams of flour, about 112 grams of butter, and I sliced this up and put it in the freezer about an hour ago just to make sure we keep the dough as cool as possible, which is important for maintaining the flaky texture. So now we want two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt. Now we just mix this up. And once you can hear the food processor smooth out and it looks like sand kind of, that's when we can start adding the milk. So it's gonna be between three and four tablespoons of milk. So after you add enough, it should start coming together like one big ball. And that's what we see here. The dough comes together and then we open it up and we have our pie crust basically. So we have the pie dough. I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit. And then I'm going to pop this in the freezer for 10 minutes, however long it takes us to make the filling. Before we make the filling, we'll put the oven on 425, which will be the temperature to cook the pie crust at and then we'll lower it to 350 when we put the filling in. As with any recipe, there's several different ways to do this depending on the amount of effort you want to put in. So the higher quality version is gonna use milk, cream, and sugar with pumpkin mix, and then you put your own seasonings in it. The easy way out is instead of using these three, you can just use sweetened condensed milk, which is basically cream and sugar boiled down. This might even have more flavor with the seasonings already added and it's called pumpkin pie mix. So, I mean, you could get crazy. You could cook your own pumpkin, add your own organic spices to this, but this is just so much easier, especially if you don't have, you know, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and allspice. Although those are pretty popular spices, you probably don't have them all organic and fresh. So by buying the pumpkin pie mix, it gets very simple. And either way, you're adding eggs to this. So today, since I do have the fresh dairy products, Ideally, you know, raw local grass fed from your farm. That'd be better. We're going to use this, or you could just throw two cans of this together. This is a decent brand. You know, it's organic sweetened condensed milk. You obviously have some concerns with the can lining, but we'll save this for another recipe. So we have our one can of pumpkin pie mix, which actually smells like a cooked pumpkin pie already. Hey, maybe just, <laughs> maybe just plop this can on the table in front of your family if you don't like them and give them a spoon. If they're lucky, they get a can opener too. And that can be their, uh, their Thanksgiving pumpkin pie dessert. Hey, if you want to be really nice to them, warm the can up in the microwave a little bit. Hmm? How about that? To that, we need to add two eggs, one quarter cup of milk, one cup of heavy cream. And depending on how sweet that pumpkin mix is, you want to add between half a cup and a cup and a half of sugar. Another half teaspoon of salt. Just gonna whisk this together. So we have our pie dough out of the freezer. We're gonna cover it with some flour so it does not stick to anything. And then we'll just roll it out. It's not sticking too much. Oh, let's try not to fuck up this whole fucking thing. Holy shit. Let's do this the smart way, guys. So I put too much butter in this, but let's do this. And then, is this a bad idea? Probably. 
There we go, not too bad. We're gonna pop this in the oven for 15 minutes. 425, 15 minutes, and we will check on it. So the oven was not hot enough and the dough was too warm. So the sides kind of melted down and the crust looks more like a cake, but it'll still be fine for the pie. So we'll let this cool off for a little bit and then we'll put the filling on top and throw it back in the oven. So we put the oven down to 350. I'm gonna put this in the middle and this should take 30, 40 minutes. If we wanna brown it on top some more, we could just move it back up. All right, it's been about an hour because my family accidentally turned off the oven. Let's see how this catastrophe of a pumpkin pie is doing. Looks good. You want it to be shaky in the middle as long as like when you turn it like this, it doesn't still flow. So we're gonna let this cool for an hour or two before we taste this. And you really have to be patient when you make pie crust. It needs to be chilled in the freezer for longer after you mix it. And then once you put it in the pie dish, that dish should go back in the freezer for another half hour, an hour, just to solidify. And the oven needs to be much hotter and preheated so that the butter doesn't melt before the crust sets in. I wasn't patient, I kind of rushed through it, but the end result is still going to be very tasty, just not as presentable. Sometimes guys, when, when like this happens, I just don't post a video for a day because there's no way in hell I have the patience to remake a pie crust, but the point is you have high quality ingredients and it's gonna be really, really delicious. Hello, YouTube people. I'm here to taste some Frank's delicious pumpkin pie. It looks pretty good too, right, Gina? Mmm. Pie turned out good, even though, you know, the crust kinda settled in on the sides. <laughs> End result, looks great. Mmm. How's the crust, Gina? Very soft, very delicious. Mmm. This is a very perfect Thanksgiving. If you guys want to make whipped cream, it's very simple. Just take maybe a cup of heavy cream, two cups of heavy cream, put maybe a tablespoon of sugar in it, vanilla extract, a little pinch of salt, whip it up for five, 10 minutes, mm -hmm. depending if you have a mixer or not, and you could put that on top of the pumpkin pie. I did not make that today. I will make it either tomorrow or on Thanksgiving when my family decides to have the most of the pie because uh, the whipped cream will only last like mm. uh, a day or two in the fridge. It was the best pie I've ever tasted. Mm. Want to say anything to the YouTube people, Gina? Bye, YouTube people. I'll see you in the next, hopefully, next video. And bye from FrankieSpeeringMeat.com. Frank, trying to.